So today we're going to look at highlighting duplicates in Google Sheets. So if you have duplicates, you may want to detect them. And a good way to do this is using conditional formatting. So you can highlight the range where you want to apply this. And then we can go down here under format rules to custom formula is, and then we can type our conditional formatting rule here. So the basic for duplicates is this formula called count if, and then we're going to grab this range that we have up above. We just need to make sure we add these dollar signs. So Google does not shift that range and result in unexpected results. So we're going to go ahead and we do our count if, and then we're matching against this cell and this, because we did not put the dollar sign in front of here, we're going to go ahead and move down the sheet. And then we're going to count anything that results in more than one. So that would be a duplicate. So we can see here we have Sarah, Ralph, Laura, and Amy that only appear in this list once. And then Bill appears more than once. So you can see here's another Bill. Carlo appears more than once. Jacob appears more than once and so forth. Now next, we may want to check across multiple rows and multiple columns when we have the data set spanning multiple columns like this. And so all we have to do to address this is in our count if we can change this to E and this is going to look across our whole columns and let's go ahead and do our apply range also to the same. And then the last thing we need to do here is move our dollar sign from our A column and this allows it to search the entire data set. So now we see the names that do not repeat anywhere. So Ralph only appears once. Laura only appears once, Amy, Terry, Patrick, Robert, and Stella. So you can see the unique values across the entire data set. So if you're done with your formula, you can just hit done and then it will stay there. All right, let's go to another sheet and we're going to look at a little more complicated scenario. Let's say we know we have some duplicates that came through and so we want to highlight the duplicates so we can deal with them. And so again, let's go ahead and start here add conditional formatting rule, apply to range, I'm going to apply to our entire data set. So over to J. And then again, we go to custom formula is, and now we want to highlight all the duplicates inside this data set. So if our opportunity IDs are unique, we could just address this with a simple count if, looking at just our first column. Now we can see the ones with the identical opportunity IDs, just like that. Now, if we don't have a unique identifier, we may have to compare multiple of the other values in the rows to determine if we have a duplicate. So if we're going to exclude this A, we might look at, let's say, B. Problem is, Matt appears multiple times and so forth, so we'd have to be able to compare multiple columns. So the best way to do this is we'll wrap this inside of array formula. And that's going to allow us to concatenate multiple columns. So this is the most complicated part of this. But what I'm going to do is we have two parts of this counted formula. So this is the range in which we're looking. And this is the value we're looking for. And so we need to duplicate both of these. And we're going to use this ampersand to separate each one. So for example, we're going to have a lead owner. And let's go ahead and do opportunity name. So we're going to add that C. And then every time you add that, you need to make sure you do ampersand and add the same thing in the second part. And so now we're looking at what is duplicated between lead owner and opportunity name. As you can see, Matt, zero calories. Jacob, zero calories. And so forth. Jennifer, lots of nuts. Jennifer, lots of nuts. And so we can add more as needed if we need to iron this down. Um, perhaps we're looking at different dates, perhaps looking at different amounts. And so you can add more here inside this and simply add, for example, we want to add the amount. We could add E at the end, ampersand, call it E. And now we're going to compare lead owner, opportunity name, and amount for duplicates. All right. Let's take a look at one more real quick. We're going to check what happens if you want to check whether it's duplicate 
lead owners with an amount over a certain amount. So in that case, what we're gonna do, let's start with our lead owners here. So here's all the duplicates, but we only wanna highlight the ones with the amount over 250. Actually, let's do the opportunity IDs. Let's go to this to A. Now we can see our duplicates. But let's say we only want to highlight the ones over this amount. So we can actually do multiple criteria. So we wrap that in parentheses and then use this times or this asterisk. And what this does is it's going to evaluate both sides of it. And if both sides are true, then it'll be true. If one side is false, then it'll be false. And so if we just do this and do B3 is greater than 270. Maybe we can see that other part drop off and now only this one is highlighted. So if we just remove this part, it's going to go back. And if we add it again, those drop off. So that's a quick way and you can add more if you want to, to do multiple criteria to exclude the highlighting that you want on your data set. That's it for today. I hope that is helpful and tune back again soon for more videos.